It's no coincidence that so many people have got such good things to, to, to say about him. He was just a fantastic person that would do anything for anybody. He was brave as a lion. I always had that big beaming smile and uh, you just enjoyed his company. He just uh, the ultimate professional. He never varied, he, he was always there for you. What you see is what you get through Gary Speed. He's absolutely transformed um, the whole landscape of Welsh football. I'm a better human being for, for having known Gary Speed. First time I ever met Gary, I, I went to Leeds as a, as a, for a trial, and Gary Speed came over to us. He heard that we were from Wales. He came over. He said, "Hi, lads." And Gary was an apprentice. He was 16 years of age, starting out at Leeds. He wasn't a star, wasn't in the first team, but he still found the time to come over to us as young little kids from Wales. There was three or four of us that had come up on the train. And he asked us all, you know, where about you're from, but, you know, good luck with your trials. And Gary, you know, he didn't have to do that. I played alongside him and he was my captain. Um, and obviously when I was manager of the Welsh team, he, he was still captain and he was always going to remain captain because uh, that's how I viewed him. Led by example, by his display, looked after the young players off the pitch, um, like he did with me. Without Gary Speed to, to look up to, Early, you know, early on in my career, I don't think I would have had the career I have. He played 500 games and, and played for some top teams in this country and, and it was every manager's dream to have in his team. His commitment and his, his experience and his desire was just, you know, unbelievable. You always had an important player against him because he came in weight in the box. He was so terrific spring, good left foot, a real competitor. He was a wonderful player really and fantastic in the air. You know, he could head the ball like another Welsh great, John Charles. He was somebody that people looked up to. I had spent a lot of time with his dad, Roger, you know, and uh, um, uh, Roger was so proud, you know, that his, um, you know, that his, um, that his boy had become, you know, Welsh national manager. It's been really difficult and it's touched everybody, not only in this country, but in the world, I feel. Everyone who knew him loved being with him and everyone who didn't know him wanted to know him. He was the, the ultimate professional and the people of Newcastle recognised that. You think of great men, you think of great football men, you think of Ferguson, you think of Shankly, Busby, one of, one of Gary's mentors of course, Bobby, Sir Bobby Robson. You know, they're great men. Gary had that ahead of him, he had, he, he had the potential, he had the ability, I'm sure, to, to go on and do something great. I could stand here another ten minutes and talk about Gary Speed. I just want to give him the accolade that he deserves. He'll be a miss. He'll be a miss in the treasure rooms. He'll be a miss in the training room. He'll be a miss in the restaurants. He'll be a miss on the planes, on the buses. In every concept uh, of that boy coming in to play football for Newcastle and departing, he will be a miss. Mm -hmm.